Okay, I guess that's there. I don't... <gasps> Caught me talking to myself! Hey, how's it? My name is Andy Bumatai, and welcome to The Daily Pigeon Live. Morning, everyone. How are you? Aloha nos, and welcome once again to the Daily Pigeon Live. My name is Andy Bumatai, and I will be your chat show host, although lately we've been playing more music videos. I don't know. So we changed our designation to music, by the way. I don't know how many people noticed that. Hey, we want to um, thank Brother Bruce for resubscribing and all the people that are hosting right now. For, the, uh, for those of you just joining us, <clears throat> Maybe for the first time or watching this in a rerun, you can fast forward a little bit because for the first, I don't know, five minutes or so, we say good morning to people. It's 6.02 in the morning here in Hawaii. That's where we broadcast from. We do not do uh, daylight stealing time. So um, <clears throat> you're on your own with the math. I know. Okay, let's say how's it to uh, Love Pat Pan, and there's Jimmy Rick in the house. Hey, how's it Dixie Dreamer? Thank you for being here. See, Honda is in the Halle, and Camel Can, how are you? We have a few stealth avatars. Don't know what's going on with that. Scares me a little, because yesterday, whew, you had some issues with that. I know, Cindy Krause, mahalo for being in the house. Uh, Darlene S., uh, again, enjoyed your picture with Tina Rose Cager yesterday. How nice was that? Hey, Gary Brown, how are you? And then Camel Can, aloha no, once again, how's it to brought up Bruce and for renewing your subscription, hosting, and being here. Whoo, you get the aloha triad going, how's that? Pokoleti, mahalo for being in here this morning oh let's see who else we get okay i think i went catch devin no i did not so there we go i missed yesterday's show i'm going through small kind withdrawals <laughs> oh well uh, here you are for your morning fix oh man michael anthony smith thank you Whoo! I can feel the voice going a little bit. I don't know what's up. Hey, Lady Murasaki, mahalo for hosting. I appreciate that. Hey, Andy, how's it? Oh, Thomas the Turtle renewed your subscription. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Thomas the Turtle. And uh, Wild Willie, I am fine. I would just right now, just when I'm talking, I'm feeling a little weirdness in my throat. I don't know if it's just from yesterday, you know. <clears throat> I'm doing the second show. It kind of has an effect on me, not much. Dan Lozano, aloha uh, for being here. And uh, you are on your lunch break. I was about to ask that. Oh, there's Ku'u Aloha, my avatar crush. How are you, Ku'u Aloha? And then let's see. Uh, hey, Poppy Cheney. How's your Poppy Cheney? How are you? Ah, there we go. Good morning, my buddy. That's how. Rocking the Daily Pigeon Live shirt there on his avatar. Mahalo for that, bro. Um, let's see now. Oh, yeah, man. Let's see if I can get to the bottom of the chat. How many people we got going here so far? Whoop, I got to check out my own channel. I'm watching it now. 
turned it on. Oh, we got about 47 people already on the chat. Okay. Uh, not bad for five minutes. Oh, <laughs> I remember in the early days, remember we used to go, wow, we got 13 people or whatever it was. I know. Anabara. Oh, how are you? Aloha all. Hey, good morning. Okay. And there's Mariana. How are you? Thanks for being here, Mariana. Oh, Ooh, I like that spam one. Huh? What are you talking about? Somebody's having a private conversation that I am not privy to. And uh, that's cool. I appreciate that. Oh, Henriksen, how are you? Aloha, Andy, and everyone, not just me, everyone. Ooh, that's quite an undertaking. Early in the morning, who you got them, though. I tell you what, damn it. Hey, brother Bruce, saying, how's it? Okay, people are saying, uh, starting to say aloha to each other. Yeah, like there's Steve Yosh, and I think I would catch Rick Iwamoto there. And now, uh, let's see. Um, well, I'm getting to the bottom of the chat, and of course, that bugger is moving quick, quick like a swift. To give you an idea here, you can see the chat, and this this is me looking at the chat. You see it moving right there? Oh, man. Hey, Soda in the house. How are you, Soda? Okay, all the way from Canada there. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, what is Thomas the Turtle saying? I get five Portuguese sausage. What? Man, what? You like share with us or what? You five Portuguese sausage. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm part of the K crew this morning. Oh, I want you to know how it, I wanted to know how it feels. Well, uh, please report back a full dissertation. That would be nice. Okay, who's this? Oh, hey, we got somebody new here, gang. Big Nasty OKC. What does that stand for? I do not know. But, hey, Big Nasty OKC, mahalo for being here. Aloha. Yeah, and if you are from Hawaii, Big Nasty, uh, let us know what your stomping grounds used to be. Maybe we have a um, little video to take us through that neighborhood. Not always, but sometimes we do. And there's our moderator, Nani Aloha. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little more secure. Oh, okay. Oh, Oklahoma City. Oh, there we go. Big, nasty Oklahoma City. Oh, got it. Mahalo, big, nasty. Who are you? Right on top of things, huh? Yeah, you're going to fit right in here. And welcome to the Hamajang Gang. That's what we call everybody here. Hamajang in Hawaiian Pidgin English means all mixed up. So we are the Hamajang gang. Yeah, yeah, we lean uh, toward uh, things Hawaii, but talk about all kinds. That's right. Okay, uh, time to wake up, guys. Here we go. <laughs> You want me to wake up but I'm strangled in my sleep You want me to shape up But in my dreams I found relief You want me to wake up Ooh, Super girl though But I've been out for so long Wow Got plugs in my ears, got plugs in my soul. You want to hear it? I want you to wake up, but you struggle in your sleep. I want you to shape up. Hug the dryer, though. Stay safe, brother Bruce. Mahalo for being here. Oh, thanks, and Nikki, for the hundred biddies. 
Dixie Dreamer, mahalo for renewing your sub. Shakalaka wants to know who's on the East Coast. Got gloves in your ears, gloves in your soul. Hey, Puppy Jenny, wow, 500 biddies, mahalo. Thanks for hosting, hey, Nikki. Hey, you guys, hype train, mahalo. Shakalaka, 100 bitties. Michael Anthony's in Pennsylvania. Shakalaka. Hey, thank you, Kavika. 300 bits. Devin is on the west coast. Who's that? Oh, Michael Anthony. Mahalo for the hundred biddies. Who we get? Oh, we just went nail uh, level one, you guys. Ooh, you the best. What's this? Who big nasty Oklahoma City? Mahalo for the hundred biddies. Thank you. Oh, brand new, and there you are, putting ducats in the bucket. Mahalo. Yeah, Beeks. Yeah, we're gonna work out that uh, thing. I, and I don't know if you, um, hey Cindy Cross. Mahalo for the hundred biddies. I got a notice yesterday uh, from uh, Twitch saying that they're gonna start getting uh, more serious about. A copyrighted music I know so uh, I may have to play your song here until they get you know because I have to edit it out I'm sorry I'm talking just to uh, Kavika but um, <clears throat> I it, it, for some reason his his music's getting copyright strikes so I have to edit out anytime I play uh, Kavika's music um, I know before I put it on YouTube and look, yeah, he and I were back and forth yesterday on email, and it was crazy. I know, he, he, he did that one in his, uh, his living room, and it got, and he's like, what? I know. Now, I'm all for giving artists their due. Don't get me wrong, you know. But I'm talking to the artist, and he's going, what? I did that in my living room. How can somebody make a copyright strike on it? I know. Ah, but hey, guess what? <laughs> ah, we do what we have to do. Okay, let's do my favorite wake-up song and cruise Cohill Avenue because it's going to be a good day. Better 
it from here But sometimes I wonder I might have met the love of my life But I lost a number hey, Mahalo for the 25 bitties Cash King, Las Vegas Thanks, Ash Never mind all the lines on the highway I aim to misbehave Cause I'm just having a good day Having a good day Having a real good morning I'm just having a good day Having a good day Having a real good morning I'm just having a good time Having a bad day Pigeon Moji, I missed you, but love, love, Pat, Pat. Morning. When catch you coming in. A real good morning. Pat, Pat. When catch you coming in. Okay, Empty Bagel. Just chill. Mahalo Cruz and Corky for the hundred biddies. Wow. Real good morning. I don't know about that, <laughs> Devin. Uh, okay, real, very, real quick. Uh, I, I tried to live down being the cockroach king for so many years that uh, <laughs> I am hesitant. Well, <clears throat> what happened was, and this is, oh man, I gotta say. <laughs> More than 30 years ago, 35 years ago or something, um, I used to do this joke in my act about cockroaches, right? And I said, hey, you know, Hawaii, we get the kind of cockroaches. When you see them, oh, those bugs is bambucha. So, you know, you go get the biggest can of rage you can, sneak up on them, and when you're close enough, you whack them with the can. Because, boy, you spray them, they just go, oh, mahalo for the shower. <laughs> you know, so, hey, because we get the bump, right? Anyway, so a DJ here, Jay Akuhead Pupuli, picked up on that, um, me doing this cockroach bit. Well, he got wind of a cockroach race that they do in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. So he had this idea to send me with a cockroach to enter in the race. Now, we, what we did was we had cockroach races here in Hawaii to determine, I know, the, the, you know, the best and fastest cockroaches, right? So I'll spare you that story. But anyway, um, I end up flying with cockroaches in a jar you know, like a gallon jar with a lid on the top, little holes. And, you know, this is when you could get away with this, right? I, I go to walk on the plane. She says, what the heck is that? I said, oh, it's my carry-on. It's cockroaches. They're champion racing cockroaches. We had put a label and all this stuff. Anyway, and that was an issue. But they finally let me in on the plane. We end up at Tahlequah, Oklahoma, okay? So then... What happens is now when you race cockroaches, how they do it is there's a big circle and they put a like a bowl with all the cockroaches under it. And then they have a string and they lift the bowl up and the first cockroach to get out of the circle wins. Right now, again, this is Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Right. So we go there, put the roaches. OK, first of all, they didn't want to let me race my cockroach. Hey, mahalo, Mad Statter, for subscribing. They didn't want to let me race my cockroach because they said, that's too big. It's not a real cockroach. Yeah, well, turns out the science department had to come in and say, yes, in Hawaii, we have larger cockroaches because there's no free season. So they have developed, now, yada, yada. OK, fine. Now, again, finally there at the race, they lift the bowl up, right? Now, you got to imagine, it's probably... 55 degrees right all the other cockroaches are like starting to run they're a little way my cockroach but they lift up the bowl he went and you just see him looking around like this and you could just almost hear my roach going bro you, you can put the bowl back kind of cold okay 
And I'm like, come on, bro, move, move. And everybody's going, hey, look, your roach, big for nothing. All the, ro all of the roaches are going, look, and mine is just sitting there, right? And then I'm telling you what, it was almost biblical. The clouds parted, this sunbeam came down, boom, hit the roach. My roach went, ah, oh, and froom, the wings came out. He flew, foompa, and passed the circle. I won. I know. <laughs> it was crazy. I flew back. I was the champion. And then we did cockroach races in Hawaii. It got to the point, and I'll end here, where we were racing roaches at the NBC Arena, which was the HIC back then, right? And the winner won a truck. We gave a truck away to the first place winner. People came from all over neighbor islands with their cockroach. It was crazy. Oh, man. Took me years to live that down. <laughs> ah, anyway. Oh, those were the days when you could get away with stuff like that. And radios were run by disc jockeys who had say in the programming. <sighs> I know. That's right, everybody, no scared roaches until they fly. Uh, please destroy it. <laughs> That's a Gulick Avenue in downtown. Oh, you're welcome, Devin. <laughs> That's Roach. <laughs> Get me a sponsor. Oh, that would kill in Las Vegas, wouldn't it? Cockroach racing. Oh. And they still do it, evidently, in Tala This was Tahlequah, Oklahoma, that someone mentioned. I should have mentioned that in the story, but yeah. <laughs> the dumpster of my dreams. <laughs> I like that one lousy dime. Uh, I remember racing cockroaches in my bathtub? Oh, well, mm, yeah, let's not talk about that, Stephen, because, uh, you know, we were under the influence. <laughs> hey, we're going to race some cockroaches. Oh, hey, Andy, some good. Yeah, Steve, we're going to use your bathtub. You might not going to mind. Stephen saying, Alid, goof one in, ku aloha. Hey, cruising Corgi, when did you sneak in? Alid. Dumpsters and cockroaches this morning. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just like ham and eggs, eh? Next time I hobo, gonna have my woman by my side. No, thank God this was before camera phones. <laughs> That's funny. And if you make it to St. Louis, folks, stop by on the other side. Next time I hobo, my cockroach going win. <laughs> Oh, 
I always wonder how the woman feels about this. You know, Anthony Bagel, um, I, I've thought about it, but the problem is it's 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 kind of gross. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the people who have the cockroaches, right, when they bring them to the race and they lose, they just open the jar and let the roach go. In fact, the NBC arena, when they found out what we're doing, we had to play. We had to pay extra in case they had to fumigate the place because they were afraid you know we, we were going to bring in a thousand people with roaches and they were just all going to go run away roach you know what i mean and then the places would be infested with roaches or should i say infested with infested with more roaches <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it all got kind of, oh, look at this. Oh, what's this? Oh, play Gulick Avenue, please. Okay, hold on. Let me do a little searcher before I forget. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is for Mary Anna and uh, Mad Statter, her favorite, her, the dumb, how did she put it? The dumpster of her dreams is in this video. <sighs> You guys crack me up. This is for you, Mariana. He was 16, holding her hand. They were wasting all the time they had. They were building big wonders they knew. That's old school, bro. Time stayed as long as they Cockroach my sleeper. As much as they need it, the world flies around me with you. Won't you be mine forever? Stay here together, we can nurture each other. Find us another world to be all the beauty. You sure are, Tina. to sell vacuum cleaners here. Oh. Right there, there, right here. Willie, the, the dumpster of her dreams. You see right there. Mad Statter getting all weepy. There it is, see? Tina, she's our wandering, wayfaring daughter. Yeah, you saw it, yeah, Mariana. I know, Jimmy, I know. Contain yourself. See what I did there? Contain, okay. Michael, I saw her dragging on ballet on Gulit Avenue. I knew it was love. Won't you be mine forever? Stay here together, we could nurture each other. Find a different world to be. Hope it's beauty, we'll see. I'll sing you a song it's taken so long the flowers we've grown are standing alone these feelings have remained with me 
I hope so, Mariana. That would be nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Green Man uh, had a wonderful um, idea. So we're going to send this out to Tina Rose Cager, our wayfaring daughter. Can't wait till she comes home. Here we go. Oh, Willie, I love when you talk sexy. An August summer breeze blows outside as the wayfaring daughter arrives. You left us for so long, but you're here now. We can't hide the tears in our eyes. Long, and you needed some time just to be on your own The days have come and gone And it's clear now there really ain't no place like home And you fly like a dove To join your true love like the sunrise, you light up our lives. You were just a child when you found that your voice was the window to dreams. Whenever you would see, how's it, Miles? And time would stand still so it seems You fly like a dove To join your true love And like the sunrise You light up our lives Wow, 82, Jimmy that's like Phoenix. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Ooh, there you go. And that goes to Tina Rose. And speaking of Tina Rose, you know, she sent us a picture of her, you know, with her rubber slipper barefoot in the snow. I know. So uh, she sent me a new update. Look at this here. She said uh, she has decided to winterize. There you go. This is... <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, you're too funny, Tina. Winterize. Oh, but you got to start taking the pictures the other way, sideways, not up and down, Tina, so I can do more with them. Anyway, oh, that is funny, though. <laughs> you know, yeah, when the, what the, uh, the Japanese get the tabe, yeah, with the place for your, for your rubber slip <laughs> ah, I love you guys, man. Oh, tabi socks. Yeah, I was just saying. Oh, tabi socks. <clears throat> okay. Ah, what do you say? Uh, you know, that's what I, you know, I got to tell you, I, I hand it to you, Tina Rose. Sold the house, making your way slowly back to Hawaii. Oh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I tell you what, here we go. We just sent you that other one. But for everyone who has, you know, pursued a dream, sometimes you just got to believe. Get the hook up now, Don Quixote. Yeah, yeah. You should see the smiles on their happy faces when they tell me to turn down in these places, but I don't know what they want. Play the kind of music then they tell me. Turn it up. I believe in love. Yes, I believe. Really? 
I was joking. Oh, oh, aggregate. I love that name. <laughs> she could be someone who could make you do all sorts of funny things. She goes out to buy brand new cars and diamond rings. But I know what she wants. With her kind of music, then she tells me, Turn it up. I believe in love. Yeah, nowadays you can uh, rename that second album and call it Maui is Socially Distanced from Molokai. Michael, I love it. <laughs> uh, my dating. Uh, Akama dating can do a commercial. Hey, you brought us looking for one cute thumb star called West or Ahu Aggregate. <laughs> and I don't just saying that name sounds so lo uh, local. Oh, uh, oh, you, oh, you look on thumb star. Hey, Kolaka in uh, West or Ahu Aggregate. <laughs> aggregate. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I think that's so funny, I, you know. Uh, and it's funny, they're not just on West Oahu, because I see West Oahu aggregate when I pass Mililani High School, there's a dumpster, the yellow one with West, and I always laugh when I see it because, I don't know, it just makes me, I think it's just so local, West Oahu aggregate. <laughs> you can't say it without sounding local, you know. I mean, the most, you know, the best speaker in the world. You know, the other day we were passing Mililani elementary school and we saw the shallow dumpster and i said to myself hey look that dumpster is from west oahu aggregate hmm i wonder how that happened <laughs> ah, who knows In the closet way back I won't be needing that I won't be needing that oh. I'm ready to fly down 65 Hit the coastline In the sunshine I'm going to find my new high Hit the coastline In the sunshine 
far from the hurt and the bad times I'm feeling so alive, I'm feeling so alive Hey, yeah I'm ready to fly down 65 Hit the coastline in the sunshine And Miss West Oahu Aggregate. That's right. We get one commercial coming up. You know, a lot of people say the stuff in our dumpsters is just junk. Eh, that's rubbish. West Oahu Aggregate. Call now. There you go, Dixie Dreamer. Ziv Morgan. Okay. I know. <laughs> oh, what? Thank you. Well, you get Filipino blood or what? You look at that. West Oahu aggregate. Sometimes you open out dumpster, you look inside. Hey, you cannot help but say, oh, hey, still good. That's right. <laughs> Oh, we got to do it. <laughs> Miss West Oahu Aggregate. Oh, see, that's it. We just, oh, we should. That's the, that was, you know what? Hey, uh, why, Willie, tell your husband, that is the promotion that would kill if, if, they, did a, if they did a series of commercials and they just went Miss Oahu Aggregate, right? Aloha. Welcome to Miss Oahu, <laughs> no, Miss West Oahu Aggregate. And our first contestant, her talent is Weldon. <laughs> and let's talk to our judge, Mr. Clyde Akama. Yeah. Oh, wow, that wahine. Oh, man, she looks like she can scrap. <laughs> oh, man. Why, Willie? I got to tell you, we're on to something. Tell your husband. Have the a marketing department contact me immediately. <laughs> we have a promotion. Miss West Oahu Aggregate <laughs> with the sash <laughs> and a construction hat standing on the dumpster. How's it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, welcome to the finals of Miss West Oahu Aggregate. And yes, that includes arm wrestling. Okay. So now, our first two concessions. <laughs> what, left or right arm? Well, we didn't decide on left. Oh, nah. That's unusual. <laughs> ah. Ah, get somebody in that company who think miss, <laughs> she missed West. Oh, really? Oh, that's how. Well, <laughs> that's right. They ain't going to be arm wrestling for a year's supply of eyeliner. There we go. <laughs> Oh, man, you, oh, I miss writing comedy with some of my friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go someplace where I'm, you're not likely to see a dumpster from West Oahu Aggregate. <laughs> Mahalo, Nalulolo. My ears on the run 
I see the photo shoot. Chasing hell, drinking devil's blood. I never caught a fire that could ever slow me down. Even fighting in the war, dodging lead, breaching rival doors. I never took no heat that could ever strike me down. Oh, when I come home, glory, hallelujah. Oh, your love had a way of knocking me on down. All my days in the woods. Oh, that's the contest, dumpster dreams. Just a blade and a point to prove. I never peaked the facts. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ever put me down? Oh, but when I come home, glory, hallelujah. What a line. I cry and sing the blues. Nothing else I'd rather do than be helpless in your arms. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that uh, here, Stephen says, such great reef shots i know but that girl blocks so much of it you ever seen you know that girl that's swimming around and I, I and i couldn't edit her out you know i'm like oh i like see the reef but oh man that girl with the you know the one with the flippers and i don't know if you noticed but the guy she's with no more slipper i mean flipper rubber flipper <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, I don't know whoever, look at this here. Uh, whoever said dumpster diving can be one of Vent Gill, that's too funny. Aloha and welcome back to Miss West Oahu Agrid. Now, before we get to our arm wrestling competition, you know, um, we always have to do the dumpster diving event. Now, we have five dumpsters here and our finalists gonna dumpster dive and see who come up with the best kind stuffs now remember last year miss nana Cooley came out with one working lamp the bugger was still good the shade was just smashed because you know the husband went snap and whacked the dog with the lamp but other than that whoo plenty points achieved in that one so Let's cross our fingers for today's contestants. You guys ready? <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't tell him, okay? <laughs> Why, Willie? Uh, your dumpster diving sponsor should include at least one high-end department. Oh, that's too 
funny. Oh, shakalaka. Can you imagine? Okay, now you notice on each of the dumpsters, they have individual sponsors. The first one is Save Us. Every year they support us. The second one over here is uh, Ted's Archery Service from Waianae. The middle one there, who oh, we like to thank Prada, our new sponsor. And look that dumpster. Oh, man, they go put the kind of bedazzle on them and you know, mean at a logo in the front. But, oh, plenty of Samoans all confused. Hey, look, that dumpster is for a Prada. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, see, this is how writing goes. Yeah, Liberty House. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, number five there, oh, Mahalo Liberty House. And, you know, sorry you went out of business. I guess you didn't spend too much money uh, fixing up your dumpster, okay? But, and yes, the, it is true. Um, we went contact Carol Kai, and we're going to have the West Oahu Aggregate Dumpster Races. Right through Waikiki. So start putting your team together. <laughs> Ow. Wild Willy, what did you start? Gone fun it. Oh, oh, here we got an extra points for find one new item still in the box, especially if the cardboard all nasty from dumpster juice. Oh, Ash, right? <laughs> dumpster juice. <laughs> no, that's the band. That's the band. Oh, and uh, you know what? We like, uh, you know, you notice today we uh, we get live entertainment. Uh -huh. So before uh, we uh, do our arm wrestling and dumpster diving, and of course the uh, West Oahu aggregate dumpster race, uh, we just like to hear a few tunes from uh, our house band. Please put your hands together for Dumpster Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Playing their hit single, eh, hey, wasn't me, the bugger went leak from the truck. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> okay, I gotta stop. I'm entertaining myself. Ah. Okay, well, let's visit uh, the home of uh, one of our contestants. That will bring me back to sanity. Okay, I know. You said you want to play your game You dealt me in, I said I'll pick it up, it's all the same don't follow all the rules I know you don't You change day by day it Hardly seems that fair. How can anybody understand How can anybody win Eight points later I thought it was by time We hit the finish line Eight points later I wasn't winning at all I was just further behind your hand that showed my cards I took my talks right from your heart I laid them down before your eyes Game over, blow the whistle, we're out of time Come on, baby, it's your turn of time Later. 
<laughs> oh, and welcome back to the Daily Pigeon Live, proudly sponsored by West Oahu Aggregate. And we just like remind everybody that uh, this year's calendars are available. And um, yeah, I know <clears throat> the baga only cover about 10 months because we could only find uh, 10 wahine who like, you know, pose with our dumpster. But, uh, hey, still good. You just got to, you know, adjust them a little bit, you know. But every calendar come with some uh, white out so, you know, you can just make the month whatever you like. And uh, <clears throat> the value of what the different wahines when find inside the dumpster is listed on the bottom of the calendar. And uh, the wahine who went find plenty copper when really score. So, remember, order your calendars now. Uh, available soon at uh, westoahuaggregate.com. Mahalo. How's it, Pigeon Moji? There you are. Seen me and my two boys. Welcome. <laughs> no, don't punish yourself, Miles. Sleep. There's the Taja Aloha no. Cash King, Ooh, resubscribing. Thanks, ah. Mad Statter.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And again, this episode is brought to you by West Oahu Aggregate. And we just like remind you that we are that we are reinitiate and un, hold on, I can say them reinitializing our frequent dump stop program. That's right. Uh, when you uh, you know sign up for West Oahu aggregate right every time they come for pick up your dumpster uh, you just you know, go to the driver and you know punch your card okay and remember now social distance you know not, not because of the rona but because you know sometimes the truck small kind hauna but uh, other than that get your card punched and if your area is um you know the most frequent dumpster action then we're gonna feature you in one video Okay, in fact, uh, last month's winner was none other than Kaimuki. Go, get your card punched. Congratulations, Kaimuki. Look for it, Dixie. Send out a 
big mahalo to all the people here on Maui responsible for this amazing program. You know, so often motorcyclists are discriminated against, but here on Maui, if you ride a motorcycle, you get a free watch. How cool is that? Mahalo Mayor Victorino and everyone involved in this amazing program. Thanks, eh? Ooh, what a show sponsored by West Oahu Aggregate. <clears throat> and we just like uh, let you guys know that um, Dumpster Juice, when put out one album available now, and it of course has their three biggest hits. You know which ones I'm talking about. Was in me when P. Never mind put your stuff inside my dumpster. And of course, their biggest hit. Cardboard only. Who mean, eh?
I know I'm getting a little too carried with the West Oahu aggregate action, but, oh, you know, I just miss the days when I'd get together with, uh, with a bunch of my comic friends and we would sit around and laugh and try to write something. I, I remember something that never worked. I don't know. It was James Grant Benton. May he rest in peace. He was one of the Booga Booga guys, right, the originals. <clears throat> and he got into this riff one time. You ever been beat up? <laughs> oh, and we all thought it was so funny. You ever been beat up? <laughs> oh, I don't. I, and it wasn't funny. We tried to do it on stage or anywhere else, but we laughed till we had asthma attacks. Another one he came up with was uh, that that really didn't work. Was um, uh, what did he call it? The panty on the. Uh, on the hukulea or something. You know, uh, there was an original boat that came from Tahiti that discovered uh, Hawaii, right? So we were we were riffing on that. I forget the name of the boat, but let's just say it's hukulea. I know that's another boat. But anyway, he, he had, goes, a lot of people know. No, no, no. Plenty of people never know that when the hukulea came from Tahiti to look for Hawaii, only... Using one star, you never hear about the panty on the hokulea. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where a star? I don't, I don't see the star. Right there. We're going to follow that and thus discover Hawaii. <laughs> what? Where, where the star? Oh, you guys, you don't see the star. You lying to me. We're going to die. We're all going to die. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> The panty of the... I wish I knew the name of the boat. Ah, but, I mean, you think about it, right? These the, the Tahitians, I mean, think about Hawaii in the ocean, and these guys would sail. No more instruments, nothing. Only by the stars and the currents, and boom, find them every time. Yeah, and everybody believed they could, except the panty on the boat, <laughs> or whatever it was. Ah, too funny. Okay, uh, those were the days. And speaking of back in the days, uh, I played this yesterday and, and plenty of people, I got to know, nah, Melvin Lee's still around. Not only is she around, she's making music like this. I always like to mention that not only did she write this, produce this, perform all the instruments on it. Wow, such talent. And not afraid to put a long introduction on it like this. You know, before she starts singing, how cool is that? Okay, Dixie, we'll wait. By the way, on the triggers, Don Ho works now. the sound she's getting from an ukulele here. Amazing. Riding around the town in my brand new car Leaving the place where we once were No, Miles, it's a ukulele and her keyboard. Passing our favorite restaurant I should have said all the parts, but... Leaving all the past behind there are two instruments her keyboard and an it's ukulele it's over it's gone never more anything to remember remember you had your 
chance So this is goodbye I'll be riding along the hurt Riding away Been there? Question mark. too funny everybody's looking for dumpsters now <laughs> uh, well, that's a beautiful video but where are the dumpsters gone funny oh, i know you're right don ho would be a great judge for the uh miss west oahu aggregate yeah <laughs> don comes in what <clears throat> uh oh what's this oh somebody made the hub with baby when don comes in right with the kind you know, uh, we just like bring the five finalists in, and uh, before we start, I like to talk to the finalists. You girls listening up, okay? This is one classy kind contest, so you know, show class, eh? Never mind the kind flash panty or show off your tattoo, because I notice a couple of them not spell correctly, gone funny. I know, people, when they do those things. <laughs> ah, okay, I got to get off that. <laughs> List, yeah, I created a dumpster fire. Did you? For real? I don't know how that works. You know, you know I, I, I watched this uh, video the other day about, you know, some people, they throw away batteries, you know, because you know, they're too lazy to take them to the dump and dispose them correctly. So they just put them in a rubbish can and they throw it, right? And they showed this battery and it went into a, a truck. And while the thing was spinning around, the battery fell over and the two terminals hit something, caused a spark and set the truck on fire. I know, I was like, wow, man, you never thought about that, you know? Yeah, in fact, I remember um, when I was doing my tooling around show, one of the guys that, that I used to interview at City Mill, he said, you know, you'd be if you take a steel wool and touch it on a nine volt battery, right? It, it bursts into flames. And he goes, no, serious, watch this. And people do that. You know, they go, they have a junk drawer and they have some steel wool and then they have a nine volt battery and, they, and then the thing, he goes, watch this. And he touched it and he goes, Phoom. I know. So if you have steel wool in your junk drawer with batteries, uh, be careful. I know. A little life hack there. Are the triggers working, you guys? I'm not noticing. I notice uh, Presley just said dolphin here. I have them set up so that, you know, there's no cooling off period now. Oh, I can hear my, my oh, can I hear my Thursday song? Oh, yeah, is today Thursday? Oh, yeah, today is Thursday. 
Oh, gun fun it. Let me let me let me find it here. I gotta search it. T U U. Uh oh, oh. Spelled Thursday wrong. Duh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is for uh, Free Fire. Oh, thanks for the suggestion. I don't. I would have forgotten. Wasn't supposed to go this way when I met you yesterday. I didn't need you next to me. Am I the kind that you expected me to be? <laughs> Heavy foot. It's getting a little warm. Crack the window, please. I'll pump the gas if you run inside Grab a couple tall boys and a honey pie and Yesterday What? Far away Did they last longer? And tomorrow you'll be gone It wasn't supposed to go this way Sweet, sweet, sweet Sweet Thursday We don't do that here because we're sponsored by West Oahu Aggregate and pea soup has a whole different meaning. Aloha, Steve. Ten million people and maybe more out on the highway in a dusty storm. Two lonesome losers in a stolen dream heading straight for nowhere in a suicide. Machine. What does that mean? If you see the lights flashing, slow bang. Push the pedal down. Over the border, they can get us there. Between the two of us, we'll make it if we share. And yesterday, yeah. Far away and tomorrow you'll be gone. Oh. It wasn't supposed to go this way. Sweet, 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 sweet Thursday. Oh, there you go. Oh, good suggestion, Free Fire. Mahalo, I would have forgotten. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I forgot something, I promise you that. Yeah, I've mentioned this before, but I'm at that stage where I'm calling the kids by the pet names. Hey, Kinako! Kim oh, no, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my daughter. <laughs> oh, Pea soup is more gross to me than dumpster juice. What? I've always think of it. Of the oh, the Exorcist. Yeah, once you get brain tattooed like that, uh, Jimmy Rick, it's hard to, uh, I know, erase that. <laughs> Pea soup. Arr, your mother cut socks in hell. No. Something, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> um. Let's see here. Okay, what time is it? Oh, my goodness. It's almost to the bottom of the hour. Hey, Anne. Hey, a little late. And where are you? A little late. Aloha to everybody. 
That's funny. You know, I have that one. I have that one video now that I'm that I did, and it's called "Be Aware." And every time I see it, I think of you, Anne. You know, when I was editing it, and and I actually thought, I oh, hope people doesn't think I'm saying "Be and Wear." You know, yeah. We we debuted that. Was it yesterday? I forget. I can't remember. I wonder if we should play it. Yeah, I know. And did, did you see the? Did you see the video? Uh, it's called "Be Aware." Let me know if you haven't, then uh, I'll play it for you. But uh, right now, <laughs> uh, Andy, be be aware. Be aware is Anne's sister. No way! Really? Oh, shakalaka! That's too funny. So if I, I. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, here. I'll play it for you, Ann. Okay, hold on. I got I got to find it. I really didn't I didn't have it queued up here. Uh but I didn't know your sister was be aware. Okay, here. Um I w I've been calling this the um um the Daily Pigeon Live public service announcement, okay? But uh check the title out. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> it's kind of serious, so I shouldn't be laughing. Okay, there. My mama told me I should be where I'll tell you a story about me, people who take you so innocent girls. Don't mean to scare you, but See you, Miles. be careful. Maybe think twice before you walk alone. Call somebody to take you home Look over your shoulder when you go that way This world might take you to a bad, bad place Oh, rub on neck
Well, we rue. Uh, that would be nice. Okay, that takes us to the bottom of the hour, gang. Who shall we raid?